another adventure begins. Hi. Well, we are on our way to drop off the babies. Yes. I know it looks like we only have one. Sam! Sam's, Sam's on the other side of you. She's behind you. We've got this one going incognito. Maya! Well, Maya's the... Maya's the papaya. <laughs> She's pushing so hard against me. Oh, she's the snoogliest. Sam just wants us to open the window, but it's a little too cold for that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to drop them off, try not to cry, and then we will stop the ATM, and then I think the airport. Oh, we gotta. Well, we have to grab the luggage, but... Yeah. Babies and luggage don't fit in the car at the same time. Yeah, they're a little too big for that. Oh, you can see Sam a little bit. Little Sam. Little Sam. Little Sam. All right, babies are dropped off. It's crazy how Sam is just absolutely insane when we're dropping her off and then as with soon us. As, yeah, as, soon as, the, as soon as the vet tech grabs the leash, she's like, okay, I'm gonna be calm and I'm gonna be great now. Yeah, let's just go in the back. I'm just gonna embarrass mom and dad until... Well, I guess she's, when the, when we do the uh, grooming, she's crazy. Yeah. But... I don't know, she likes them, they love her. It's just... A lot of new faces. Uh, the one that checked us in was new, but the one that actually grabbed them has seen them before. Yeah. The one that uh, bought the Subaru forever ago? She didn't see her, but I think she works nights. I think she works in the back. She isn't like a check-in person. All right, off to the ATM. All right. It is 12, 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are leaving so much later than she normally would leave for a flight. Yeah, we're about two hours until the flight. And it's another 20 minutes to get to the airport. 25, 30? Depends on how traffic is. Yeah. Traffic shouldn't be bad. Yeah, but parking, getting out and going to the thing. Are you worried? No, the thing is, is we don't even have to go up to the check-in window. Oh, we do for the bag. We do, we only have the one bag. Oh, we never mentioned where we're going. So, Phil. Well, you probably know from the title of this video. Um, no, because I'll probably just say, well, I don't know. Anyway, so, my birthday is in a few weeks, and Phil, with his new job, oh, he switched jobs since the last time we met. He's a lot happier. Yeah. So, he gets Martin Luther King Day off. Well, I guess that would have been my last job. No, they would have made you work, you know that. And yeah, well, yeah, everyone else in my department from there is working, so. Yeah. So, he said, I'll take you on a birthday trip this year. For most of our relationship, I've taken Phil on a birthday trip. She takes me places. I never book it or anything. She does the whole booking thing. But this year, Phil said, well, I'll book you a birthday trip. And so I was very excited, and I wanted it to be a surprise and find out at the airport. But someone's not so great at keeping secrets. So I found out, and it's New York. Ah! I should have done the Home Alone face, except I'm holding the selfie stick. Exactly. You're driving. Don't do that. Anyway. I have these. So, we have a flight at 2 o'clock to Minneapolis. Yes. Then we have a very itsy-bitsy layover that I'm nervous about. And then, Minneapolis to New York City. We should get in right around midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. It is Phil's first time in New York City. Super cute. I've been there four or five times because I went to school on the East Coast. But I've never stayed overnight. I've only done day trips. Uh, five times? Yeah. I guess it was only like 30 bucks to get up there, right? On the Feng Wall? Well, the, I only did the Feng Wall when I was in Boston. And when I was in Pennsylvania, they were always supposed to be trips to go see Broadway shows, but they always got canceled. The Broadway shows or the trips? Broadway shows. So then I would be like, well, what do I do in New York? And then I'd just wander around and have a grand time. And I'd always end up at the Met. So we're going to the Met to tomorrow. The Met more than once? I went to you more once. No, I've been to the Met. Every time I've been to New York. Uh, I break that tradition now. I wouldn't because that's one of my favorite things in New York. So, exciting times. We know we're going to the Met. Um, sorry, there was a stupid Prius. And we're staying near Times Square, so that's exciting. I have been to Times Square, but never at night. Yeah, the hotel's actually called Times Square. Yeah. Not the whole thing, but it's in the name. And it's not like edgy Yellowstone, it's actually close. It's about two blocks from Times Square. Okay. So Phil, what are you most excited about right now? Jew food! Yeah. So, I am Jewish, 
and I've made Jewish food for him before, but we've never had Jewish food that hasn't been made by me or my mom. So excited for that. Uh, technically my sister too. It's her birthday. I should probably call her. It's her birthday? Yeah. We should tell her we're going to New York for her birthday. Happy birthday, Jenica. We're going to the opposite side of the country. <laughs> as far away. <laughs> as possible. far away as we could while being in the continental United States. No, I could've gone to Maine. She could be in San Diego. It's pretty much as far. Anyway, so we're on our way to the airport, enjoying our last few minutes without masks for the next nine hours. I mean, it'd just be like work. Yeah, except uh, generally I don't sit next to someone else at work or in a tube with a bunch of other people. We don't have any seats next to anyone else. Did you not check the layout? Huh? Yeah. What? It's just us? <laughs> yeah! I can't believe you didn't check the flight layouts. No. I made sure to only get seats with us just us in the aisles. Hell yeah! Good job, Philip. I didn't know that. See, there are surprises. It's still a birthday surprise trip. Are there any other surprises I don't know about? I didn't know that was a surprise. So <laughs> I, don't know. I thought you would have looked at the seating layout once you knew the confirmation code. No, I didn't. That's nice. Well, I far prefer that. It's interesting, it's on the way back, our little Sea uh, Tech to Spokane. We got to buy ourselves too. We're in the, not first class, but the highest yeah, I class. Saw, we were in row five, and I was like, how is that not first class? There's no first class on it. It's just a small jumper, but the thing is, is it's the highest class you can get on that plane, so we're gonna like a nice... Live it's like It's only kings. like a 45-minute flight, but it... It's no lay-down seats to Hawaii, but... Or maybe they are. Ah, yeah. So it's gray and drizzly here. It's supposed to be absolutely freezing cold in New York. There's a few news stories out saying that there's going to be a bomb cyclone this weekend. So, I love snow. He knows I love snow. I love so much snow. We love snow, but... I, I would love that so much. New York and just absolutely dumb snow. No, because we do have to fly home. We have dogs the, and well, get back to work. Well, the thing is, is the tube wouldn't be delayed. You can't call it the tube. Oh, sorry. It's the, the subway. The sandwich shop. Anyway, so we'll check in at the airport. Going up the parking ramp because the first level's full. You know, when I bought my first car and I had my first day off afterwards, I came out here and particularly did this ramp. How much did you pay for that? I don't think it was very much. It doesn't say it's full. It doesn't say it's full. We can try it. That boat's poorly, but... But yeah, because I remember doing that as a kid and how much fun it was. I don't even know if they charged me because that's literally all I did was I went up the ramp and I came back down. I am genuinely shocked at how busy this is. I mean, we're part of it, but I really thought the airport would be abandoned. And it is not. Yeah, There's no spots over there. We should have gone on more. Welcome to the Spokane International Airport. It's only international because it flies to Canada. But they still have their Christmas stuff up. We just made it through security. Opposite of Welcome Home. Vintage Washington, that's new. Burger King and a free laughing sauce. I love this thing. It's been a while since I saw it. All right, we are in B8. So far, we're on time. Uh, pro tip, if you prepay for your bag through Delta, make sure you print off that receipt. I did not print it. Did you just find someone's bracelet? Yeah. Well, we'll go turn that in somewhere. Uh, yeah. Fingers crossed we don't get delayed. We already know that the second flight is delayed, but that's okay because that gives us a little bit more wiggle room. Yeah. Like no Some people are happy to you were happy to come to Spokane when you moved here. <sighs> Ooh, there's a lot of people here. Gross. People too, people too. We are on the people too. People type. People according to Phil. I call it the people too. Right, too many air for us. Huh? No, but you don't have anything with that. Alright, give ourselves some room. 
We'll check in on the plane. We got a text saying yeah. that our next flight is delayed. I'd like a little board. Ah! Ooh, yans. I didn't know that was airport food. I thought that was mall food. Okay. New York. Um, it says not delayed. Yeah, don't put this is one right here. Yeah, 750. F7. Um, let's go check that out, because we got the text saying it was delayed. Attention in the conference, we are... All right, we are at the Minneapolis airport. Uh, our flight was delayed. Our next flight, the one that's Minneapolis to JFK, was well, delayed... The first one was delayed, too. By, like, five minutes. But the JFK one was delayed by an hour, which means... An hour and one minute that we have a really comfortable transfer now. So, kind of grateful for that. Yeah, Almost we're gonna be hours, getting in late, so yeah. but... Two hours is like my comfort zone for layovers. Uh, there's a really cute diner. I'm actually check out this white diner. Yeah, it's super cute. There's like counters, burgers and stuff. Um, not for us, because we won't be eating until we get our Uber Eats slash we'll DoorDash. Yeah, we won't be taking off the mask until we get to the room. So, you know mostly hard tell Brooklyn. Cry. I watched a sad movie. Oh yeah, what did you watch on the plane, Phil? I watched Raya, and I'm a big baby, and I cried it. Some Raya part. Lost Dragon? How was it? I haven't seen it. I really enjoyed it. The animation in it was absolutely gorgeous. How's the story? It's pretty good. Oh. I really enjoyed it. It made me cry. Is it sad or just sweet? It's good. Okay. Uh, well, he watched that. I watched When Harry Met Sally because obviously we're going to New York and I wanted to tap into the New York stuff. It's funny, I don't remember the last time I watched it. I know I've seen it before, but it hits differently the older you get. Really? Yeah. Because you see them as young college kids starting off with all this promise and then by the end of it she's talking about her biological clock and like... She does. But there's this one line where she's like, I'm turning 40. And he was like, when? And she said, soon. <laughs> Keep in mind, she's like 31 or 32. I mean, I feel that on a spiritual level. And then afterwards, I watched a little bit of a Twilight Zone episode. You didn't watch the whole thing? No. Oh, they were like 60 minutes early. No, they're 25. But really? I thought they were like an hour. It was interesting. They had um, both of the things that I watched had parental advisories on them. Yeah, mine did too for Raya. For Raya? Poof. And then there were other people watching like oh, movie Yellowstone movies. and like the pig with a good belt. Yeah, that was oh. kind of surprising. But anyway, so we're here. We're gonna board in about an hour. So we're just kind of enjoying the free power courtesy of Delta. Oh awesome. This is a nice little cool area of the airport. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Oh my god, Spokane was boiling. The flight is this boiling. Midwestern airport? Also Midwesterners and Yes, we're we're in Midwesterners in Tupperman. So I was under the impression that if you're in the middle seat, you are legally entitled to both of oh, the you armrests. Have an armor? Neither did you. What? Yeah. I kinda was like Sexism, ladies and gentlemen. Sexism. I didn't know 
I was stuck in the middle and had no armrest. So I'm taking the window on this flight. Sorry. I don't think he was going to New York. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the nice cool temperature and I'm going to start looking on Uber Eats and try to time the food for about 1.15, I think. So, um... Phil is convinced that we don't need to call the car and let them know that we're going to be late. I don't call them. I think we should call the hotel and let them know how late we're going to be because I don't want them to give away our room. Okay, Okay, so Phil's getting to work. We'll let you know when we're boarding. So we're still waiting to board. But I wanted to show... Oh, come on, Joe. Massive snow thing. They got about four inches of snow today. On my flight. They're still getting us in at about 12.30ish. So hopefully we get to board soon. They said they're just waiting on flight attendants from another flight. People, too. It's very chilly in here, but it feels so nice. Oh, here, take my picture in my hand. One thing that's notable about this people tube is that there's snow in it. Snow! Alright. Oh, and I get to go first in this one. Because I'm taking the window seat. Sorry, Phil. Well, they said we have to be in our Last people to for the night. We have landed. Now to see if the bags made it. We had only checked one, but then the other one we did check. Probably didn't need to, but <sighs> first time I've been in JFK since 2008. Honestly, I have no memory of this place. I was a baby and it was with a group. It smells very clean. Phil, you've been to the East Coast before. It's been five years, but you've been here. Well, not New York, but... Yes, this is how the other half lives. Probably. We were the last incoming Delta flight of the night. And the pilot let us know that they took an overage so that they would be able to make it. Which I really appreciate. Yeah, but this was the last arrival. That's the last departure.
We're not going to Mexico City. It is 12.57 a.m. It feels like it, actually. It does feel like it. This is such an empty airport. This is a pleasant level of airport. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to go get our bags. I don't know, when I got to New York, I didn't what? expect to be greeted by five shirtless Adam drivers. This is like a weird version of the 12 days of Christmas. Five Adam drivers. This airport doesn't end. My theory is that we died. Anywhere and the, and this is driver? either hell or purgatory. With Adam driver, it's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and we just keep walking forever and not really getting anywhere. You've heard what's his name stick about. I'm right? Who's what's his name? He's a British guy. That doesn't narrow it down. There are a lot of British men. There's just so many out of drivers. Well, this is the last out of driver. On our way back, we'll take a photo with him. I wasn't going to go that far, no. Oh, caviar to go. What? It's a caviar counter. You've been drinking out of driver and of caviar. <laughs> the life. Oh, Lego Marilyn Monroe. Oh, boy. It's, oh, that is the Lego store fair. All right. I give That's up. Fun. We're just going to be here forever.